Hey, want to laugh? This is a show about two friends who navigate the comedy scene together. Completely non-sexual, of course. And they're going to watch a couple videos and make you giggle. This is the Bryson Sci-Fi Show. A minute plus flat. Plus flatness. Plus flatness. Add fatness. <laughs> Hunger Games. Katniss. Ooh. Catnip. Mm. Bass fish. Ooh. Trash fit. Ooh. But that's it. Damn. Nah, I'm kidding. Because yeah. it was a classic. <laughs> oh. He's superior in rapping. Fuck. I just I just take the pressure off myself. I feel like that's ninety nine percent of freestyle and just taking the pressure off yourself. <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> this was New York conversation. No, no, no. <laughs> no, hear me out. Because when I feel like when motherfuckers try to freestyle and they'll be like, uh, going to the back they like they come in so hard. But instead of trying to think about like saying all these dope sentences, just focus on words that rhyme and then put very minimal effort into the sentence. And then it just seems like you're dope. So how you do are you do you freestyle? I used to. I used to freestyle like a motherfucker. I can't wait to something. Him. Oh, no. Nah, I'm so terrible. I haven't freestyled in years. But I can't wait to hit us with something. I just did. That catnip shit. <laughs> it was pretty fire. I, I can't wait to unlock this part of your personality at parties, dude. I'm totally, no, see, I'm totally going to exploit no, this. No, no. I'm not that motherfucker. You know people who get drunk and be like, yo, and just start freestyling uh-huh. over the music. That's, that's not me. You will that's, be. That's no, no, no. No yes. matter how drunk or high I get, I would never do that. But if like, let's say if we were in a car somewhere just being silly. And somebody was like, all right, and start freestyling. My brain would start going, okay. I'll start getting that. Like, it's your time. <laughs> yeah, like, I'll start getting that Eminem uh, 8-mile uh, shit. <laughs> Yo. Psy <laughs> rabbit. Psy <Cy laughs> rabbit. <laughs> That's Yo. how I be feeling. I'll be wearing a white beater and shit with a black eye. Be like, fuck free world. <laughs> Dude, I didn't know this about you. Yeah, man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a box of mystery. A box of mystery. Yeah. Is that what you call it? Yeah, you gotta unfold one of my flaps. <laughs> See the prize inside. <laughs> Them bars, dude. He's showing off. <laughs> Talking about some flaps. <laughs> That's my, hilarious. My creative flaps. Dude, freestyling is is the hardest form of anything. Yeah, it's only that way because you're putting pressure on yourself. I swear. It's, it's not c- just me. It's all the people staring when no, you're doing it. It's like uh, you ever riff on stage. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little, <laughs> I wish I'd do it more, but yeah. Yeah, but see, you're just putting pressure on yourself. Like, let's just say it sucks. I think when you get to that point where you're like, whether it's good or whether it's bad, I'm just going to do it. I'm mm-hmm. just going to be 100% okay with what happens. I think that takes all the pressure off you, and you, you'll come out being better on the other end. We have to have a him freestyle in some form or fashion. Right? I, okay. Because you're, you're describing how to do it. Now you got to yeah, show us how no, to do it. No, bro. No, okay, here. You just got to chill and relax, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, it's pretty true, simple, true. actually. That's true. Okay, give I'm me... educated. You can Here, how about this? You start me off with two bars, then I'll jump back in and give you two bars. What are bars? Okay, bars are like the sentences. <laughs> That's the widest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> I, know, I know it was going to be when I said it. I don't care. I need to know the information for future reference. Yeah, so, like, yeah, a bar is just like the one sentence, yeah? Or is it the one one rhyming sentence? So, oh, there we go. So like, if it was like, yeah, come on, black guys. <laughs> so if it was like, uh, I went to the I went to the shore, got me a whore. When Ooh. when I went to the shore, that would be one bar, yeah. I think so. No, the bar is the is so the, the rhyming the piece. Rhyme, yeah. oh, okay, that's where I fucked up. Okay, I thought the bar was just the one sentence. So you got sixteen bars. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a <laughs> that y'all know what y'all. No, I know about sixteen bars, but that's you a, just that's a, like you, when you hear somebody a full verse is sixteen. Yeah, bars. give me sixteen. I've heard yeah, that before. Yeah, I'm like yeah, sway yeah. in the morning. But or the whatever. way he threw that out there, it didn't give us any more life. <laughs> yeah. He just said, "Yeah, he just said bars 16 really hard." Bars. Yeah, <laughs> and, then bars. He, and then he made this like face as if <laughs> he just if, <laughs> if he looked like we're stupid for not knowing <laughs> <laughs> that he's more right, even though he didn't. He said sixteen bars. <laughs> so, Cause you got 16 bars Yeah Alright That didn't explain anything Come on like, <laughs> We're gonna move on Alright What the fuck Dude hell yeah Hip hop right. Hip hop Speaking of uh, Hip hop I uh Actually I'm sorry You know we're recording mm-hmm. Okay the show is going I just wanted to say hi I'm Sci-Fi 
Oh, hi, I'm Bryce. What's up, everybody? And this is the Sci-Fi and Bryce Show. Yeah, that's right. Uh-oh. I changed the name. Dude, <laughs> yeah. I don't care. Nah, I'm kidding. It's the Bryce and Sci-Fi <laughs> Show. I like to come you second. You son of a bitch. I like to- <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is going to be on our Behind the Music. <laughs> I'm like, it all started that day. Yeah, he said Sci-Fi and Bryce? What the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> when we leave here, Bryce is going to be like, yo, what was up with that Sci-Fi? I mean, it doesn't shit. matter, but it's weird that you did that. <laughs> it's very weird. I mean, I don't but care. I didn't know about it. Until yeah. it happened. Oh, so we re- we rebranding? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. That's but cool. Yeah. Okay, that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll try to freestyle off of the uh, Bryson Sci-Fi show. Uh, uh, Bryson Sci-Fi show. Time to give it a go. About to spit these bars. Uh. During drive my car. Might go get me some cookies. But I ain't no fucking rookie. I'm going to eat them up. Fill my gut. Poop them out my little butt. Cause I got a flat booty, a big black dude with a flat booty. <laughs> <laughs> bars, bars, nigga, bars, bars nigga. nigga. Infinitely better than anything I could do. <laughs> Infinitely. I need, I need Funk Master Flex here. Just bars, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think the bars, best update nigga. to this room is a DJ spot, dude. Come on. Yeah, that'd be tight. I'll invest. I'll invest. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. How have you been, dude? Tired, man. I'm unemployed now, so. Fuck yeah. It's been ruining my life. <laughs> You've been more tired than you ever I'm been doing ruining less. It, dude, and fucking You're it all ruining up. It? How are you ruining it? I'm just I'm staying up late playing hockey. Uh, like actual hockey or video game hockey? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I skate out there. I can see you. I can we see play you. some pickup hockey around midnight. Ooh, yeah. that sounds mad. I love it though. I never played. I'm not interested in hockey at all, but it was a dollar, so I got it and now I'm addicted to it. So you're playing like <laughs> NHL. Yeah, slash yeah, yeah. Th- you know what? It's fun to play games. You have no fucking... I have no pay- attachment to yeah. a single part of it. That's what makes it so yeah. much fun. That's how I got into FIFA. FIFA's the shit. I got the into exact FIFA same feeling. I had a buddy. He was like, yo, you want to play FIFA? I was like, I don't know the rules of soccer. I just... Excuse me. I just know you're supposed to kick the ball in the hole. I mean, the net. Yeah. I didn't know <laughs> the hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still, yeah, soccer. You know, you yeah. kick the home run into the yeah. hole, and it's a free throw. Yeah, touchdown. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Three... But I didn't know uh, the points were supposed to be so low. So the whole time I was like, dude, I suck. Dude, I got three I points. What the suck. hell? Yeah. But it, but it became fun because it's complicated and you're learning it as you go. And you're learning the sport too. Yeah. Which is cool. Do they let you fight? Yeah, I lose every 100% <laughs> of the time. Getting his jaw I rocked. lose the game and I get beat up every time I play. Let me tell you something. It takes a real man <laughs> to admit that not only as a gamer he's losing every time, oh, but yeah. he's getting his ass whooped. Quite literally. I have no understanding of the sport whatsoever. So you don't know about like icing and things like that? Oh, I figured that out pretty early. You figured that yeah. out? That's the first thing so I figured I'm going to beat out. them by throwing it up fast. No, yeah, they, they thought can't of that. do that. They yeah. thought of all that shit. Well, the first time I ever played NHL, do you know what icing is? Mm-hmm. Okay. No, he For, doesn't. He doesn't. No, do. Well, he's half German. He might. Oh, that's true. They're a skaty people. Nah, I don't think they're not good at hockey. I think yeah, they, they are. They're like one of the best. I think really? they're. Oh yeah, I think dude. they're good. That's at why I send most of my scouts, sports. bro. Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm recruiting. Yeah. I think they're good at all white sports. Yeah. yeah. So what's a good white sport? Uh, becoming basketball. No, yeah, it is that. Nah, nah. We're first getting off, better. First off, t- uh, France versus USA was the gold medal game in the Olympics. Mm-hmm. And let's just say the, France's team is looking a little beige. Oh, God. Yeah. We're oh, taking yeah. over France. Mm-hmm. We're taking over France. So I don't know. Well, I don't know about we oh. as them Africans, but. Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, I meant we as in black people. Well, you know, it's different. It's a difference. You know. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired of being all together. Because- first of you're not all together. <laughs> we're, we're still waiting for your paperwork to come back to let you in. You're all kinds of different things. You are so many different things. That, <laughs> you're that one person who's like, he's a purebred pit bull, and we're looking and was like, yo, why is his hair long? <laughs> That's why, so real. Man, why bro. is his hair so long? That's so real. <laughs> is his tail supposed to be that bushy and curly? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he, he, a, he a red nose, bro. Trust me. Trust me. I have one of those named Scrappy. Yeah. Really? They look scrappy. Yeah, they yeah. always look scrappy. They look like mutts because mm. they are. <laughs> <laughs> the, you know what the worst thing about? I don't know if you ever go through this, but Dom, you probably did. You probably did, especially when you got the dog. One of the worst things about living in the hood is a nigga will come up to you and be like, "Yo, I got pit bull puppies for sale," 
and you don't know it's not a pit bull until like four months after yep. you get it. You got to wait. That's what happened to me. Literally they what look happened to me. Really? just mm-hmm. like pit bulls until like four months later. It's the best hustle because it gets you every fucking time. Yeah, you'd be Damn. looking at him like, yeah, hey, I don't know if this motherfucker full bought it. <laughs> I'm starting to think. He's, yeah, he's 70% to boy, of the time. He's all nice and shit. 70% of the time, if you see like a younger black dude with like a dog that's like a mutt, he thought it was a pit bull when it was mm-hmm. a puppy. Damn. And we get got. And you'll you'll die to the death that it's a pit bull puppy for Mix. the first two months. Oh yeah, you'd be like, like this, this full blood. Yeah. I got papers. <laughs> look, look, look at his paws. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> look at his paws. No, look, look at this text deal. message from yeah. uh, from from Dale. Is that Dale. his real name? Yeah. That's my boy, Glenn See? Dale. He Glenn Dale. Yeah, he cool. He cool. <laughs> he got he cool. He just steal a lot. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's reliable. Yeah, for real. He ain't never stole from me. Uh, yeah, what's up with uh, pit bulls? Why do black people get pit bulls? Uh, there's other dangerous dogs. If it's about that, if it's about I'll just get the most <laughs> e- equipping the most dangerous animal you can. <laughs> okay, well, well, more dangerous the well, let's break it down. Let's break Do it they down. Know? They're the best fighters. They are the best fighters. What about like the Dobermans? Hell, no, but they're no, skinny. No, no. Yeah, they're they too skinny. Up. But they're, they're tall. They're good, they'll get they're your good neck. Ta- they're good attack dogs. They'll reach. They're good like guard dogs, Dobermans. Mm-hmm. But uh, uh, pit bulls are meant for fighting. I don't know what's what's up with uh, <laughs> white people getting uh, getting German shepherds. The German shepherds are sick. They are though. They are the you don't like German shepherds. German shepherds are the They're symbol the of capitalist America <laughs> and police brutality. That's golden retrievers. <laughs> what? No. Golden retrievers are sweet, but Dude, they every, don't do anything. So every cop has a uh, German shepherd. True. Or uh, what's it? A bel a Belgian Malinois. Oh, those are big ass dogs. I think That's so. A bear hunting dog. No, no, no. John Jones has one. It's how uh, you spell it. Oh boy, you just type in John Jones dog. <laughs> no, that would be the easiest yeah, way to no find clue. it. Uh, it's like it's it's kind of like a German Shepherd, but on like the Navy Seal version. They had, oh yeah, yeah. What is it called? Uh, Dutch Shepherd. A, a Dutch Shepherd, but it has a different name. Like type in Dutch Shepherd, and then see if a different name pops up. But I've seen nothing but videos of these things climbing walls. White people really love getting dogs and then making them do military exercises. Yeah, we like to put our dogs to freaking work, dude. Yeah, and that's what I'm. You that's what I don't something. get. Pit bulls, we'll just have them at the house and we'll let them tear up shit. Y'all be like, yo, go run up this wall, yeah. jump ten feet, and grab that rope. Yeah, go get the beer out the fridge and yeah. then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have seen a lot of white dudes with beer. That's a no, that is tight. That's I mean, cool. Come on, man. That's cool. If you could tell a dog to do something, yeah, man, it does feel like. Because well, like, he, he comes back and he's like, he's happy that he did it for you. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty nice. It's like better than kids because you can just leave them. <laughs> I like I like how he's just saying, yeah, the dog got a beer. That's dope. You say, yeah, if you could tell a dog to do something and it listens, <laughs> you just like, yo, if you could train a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently some people can command these right. things, these yo, wild beasts. Right hand to God. I once saw a motherfucker tell his dog to sit uh-huh. and it did it. <laughs> I was like, what? I was like, this is witchcraft. Does it talk back? Yeah. Well. <laughs> Can it communicate with us? <laughs> is he lassie? Yeah. I don't know, dude. I love dogs. I like dogs, too. But I just... That doesn't sound like a guy who loves dogs. No, I, I, I like them a little <laughs> bit. I, I, love, I do. I'm a dog person, but... Uh, once I got rid of my do- well, my dog died. I was gonna say once I got once rid I got rid of his ass in the grave. <laughs> yeah. Once my dog died, I realized how much freedom I had because I didn't have to have anybody Damn, really? watch the dog. Yeah, it's just me and the dog. So if I go mm. out of town for a show or anything, somebody has to watch the dog. I have to find accommodations for the dog. Versus now, I can just leave. That's mm-hmm. fair. Yeah. Because I, I never actually owned owned a dog. Mm. Like it's always been like the a family, family dog, dog yeah. or my roommate's dog or some Yeah, shit. that's like having a, a friend with kids. You be like, oh, I know what it's like to be a parent. No, you don't. You just know the fun shit. <laughs> you don't know the 6 a.m. Yeah. wake up. Oh, 6 a.m. Oh, bro, fuck the 6 a.m. wake up. How about the 3.30 in the morning wake up? Because you like, man, what's that smell? And your dog is just having diarrhea oh, all over the room. Dude. Oh, dude, what the fuck? Yeah, that happens a in lot. This, it's a pit bull, so you can't really get too mad. Well, it's a pit bull mix, <laughs> apparently. It'll, it'll kick the shit out of you. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Uh, I would not be. I'll, I'll punch a pit bull if it tried to attack me. <laughs> You're out of your mind, bro. I would bro. punch the fuck out of a pit bull. Crazy. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> it's afraid. crazy as fuck. I have this thing in my mind. If you're gonna attack me like an animal, and it's something like it's not a bear, like it's not something wild. It's something I've seen on the day to day. I will go full fledged with your ass. Let's go. You think you beat up animals? I think I this would. This is a classic man conversation. A right classic here. man conversation. Oh, yeah. Do I think I could fuck up a pit bull on a one on one? Michael Vick will put his money on me. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make Michael Vick a rich motherfucker again. I swear. <laughs> no, bet on me, dude. Bet on me. I'm, I'm your boy. I'm going to rip this motherfucker's arms I'll off. I'll wear your jersey. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That'd be sick if you beat up a dog in a <laughs> Michael Vick jersey. I'm fucking up dogs, pit bulls oh. in a Michael Vick jersey. Yo, we are pissing off white women as we speak. Oh, we're just kidding, guys. <laughs> we'll I'm not. Back. I don't want nobody to think I'm a bitch. I will fuck up a pit bull if it tried to kill yeah, me. Yeah, if, you, if you're if you one-on-one with a pit bull, it's going to kill you or you're going to kill it. You can't kill it. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. You, no, yeah. Do you remember uh, the first Hulk movie when he had to fight those big-ass steroided up dogs? Mm-hmm. Yeah, souped up dogs. That's what I'll be doing. Just... Grabbing them from behind and shit. Oh, like from their mouths and just rip it open. I don't know if That'd I can be do tight. that. I'm not that strong. That'd I'm not. The pit bull's not gonna work on that. But. Yeah, not nah. if you put nah. your <laughs> fingers in a pit bull's mouth. He's like, thank you. You gotta work your way up. You gotta try a couple pomeranians out. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> split Yo, them in half. This dude is out here splitting pomeranians. <laughs> <for practice. laughs> Shink. All right. All right. Oh God, this We're is so somewhere. dark. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> this is dark. This is gonna be the most hated. Oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Oh, no, no, we what? liked the gay one. We didn't yeah. like it when they were uh, yeah. talking about murdering dogs. <laughs> you, you ever seen this video? Uh, when the dog. Show me. Look, watch this. That dog lying. I don't know what he about to do. Hey, man, these motherfuckers <laughs> gave me this goddamn dog for free. Come to find out, speak Spanish. Come here, snack. Vente. <laughs> 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 That's hilarious how he talks. <laughs> Bro, there's nothing better than a country motherfucker speaking Spanish. Also, I'm not getting a fucking full grown dog. <laughs> like, you can't give gift me a full grown dog. Oh, you, you wouldn't to... pick up like you wouldn't adopt one? Yeah, I won't like it could be used. Like slightly, but I don't now want a full. Nah, I don't want a, <laughs> fuck them. I don't want a full grown pit bull in my house. That's another nigga there. <laughs> True. You seventy pounds. You taking full grown man shits? Uh, you, you, yeah, especially if they they've been like that's, in cages you see how and big attacked. That pit bull was, and he told me I just got it for free. I bet. I bet that motherfucker runs the house now. You think so? You think that was a big one? That, you don't think that pit bull was huge? Go back a little bit. Bro. That pit bull was fucking huge, man. That's I like don't. A, I think I've seen bigger ones. Well, there's I've also seen, a dog breed called Bullies. That yeah, maybe I'm confusing. Yeah, but I'm saying, look at that dog. If I said, "Hey, you want this dog?" You go, "No, nah, that's too big. I don't want that right now." Like, I'm not saying it's, it's too big dog. to own. It's cute as fuck. If I had a puppy that grew into that size, cool. You can't give me that on day one. That would be kind of badass for it to only know Spanish, though. Vente. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> but, that's on, but do you know Spanish? I would learn just for commands. <laughs> just to, just That's to not crazy. It's not that, that hard of a language. <laughs> you don't learn to communicate better with the Latino population here. But you, you will learn it for a dog. That's white people, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. They, they won't learn Spanish people. to communicate with other human beings. But for a dog... I bet you know Spanish is the only reason you feel so confident. Mm, poquito. Yeah, I knew it, dude. There's a, he set me up for failure. I'm <laughs> yeah. like, you, you do something. And then say, like, well, poquito. Mm, yo seré puertorriqueño. What's that mean? That's not a fake. It means like I'm Puerto Rican or some shit like what, that. Yeah, like, you didn't know what he's saying. Piche mayete. Piche mayete. I don't know that one. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? This nigga just says brown shit. <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever people are brown, he just says, oh, I can do it. Dom definitely has been on. You've been on a lot of cruise ships? No, I've never been on a really? cruise. Really? Really? You, you would see, love a cruise. I see you as like you a big, a big chilling kind of guy. I've seen some videos of... Uh, Niggas? I'm not... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's carnival <laughs> and they're the fun ones I'll I just saw right a video now. of niggas I'll say <laughs> for you I'll point at you for uh, help. yeah they were fighting and shit though yeah that happens I don't mind that part oh that's what then what do you don't like that would be that's the only thing I the don't like the lack of racist white women Ah, uh, oh. yeah dirty dom I feel like they're gonna be on Needed there to be, hmm? I feel like racist white women do go there not on carnival not on carnival really no. they go well, actually like, they would that's all that, yeah they would have to because they're, they're poor, poor. no yeah. they're no. racist they don't want to go around the black so they spend an extra thousand to go out to like Alaska cruises and shit like that or yeah. see Iceland I can see that but there's also like poor white people yeah who, the poor whites oh the poor whites they don't go on cruises yeah they do they, they go love on, that shit no, they spend they all their money that's what they got Man, money. they go they go on they riverboats they absolutely they go. go bro do they? they go 100% you think? Yeah. The well, cruises are poor. really cheap they like, are for what you get they really like, are you can get all, sl- all inclusive on a uh, carnival for like $50 what? yeah <laughs> I swear right. to God that's crazy I'll tell you this I went to a cruise earlier this year 
And it was it was insane how like like you said for your extra fifty you got your drinks all that well it was it's not fifty it was more than that it's like fifty dollars a day or some shit. No, I mean it's it's probably like five hundred, but you know yeah. like, that's for like uh, seven well, days yeah. and full uh, like yeah. with drinks. It might and be a little bit more. But man. I will tell you this: this is why I know you would love it. So when we were there, everybody, me and my boy didn't get the drink package because we don't drink alcohol that mm-hmm. much. But everybody else was, and I'm talking about people were literally in the jacuzzi like, yo, just they. People get rude. They're not even saying, hey, excuse me, this <laughs> out. Two more Tito's and sodas. <laughs> right here. In there. Just For this guy right up. here, brother. <laughs> and the thing is, the uh, crews, they uh, almost encourage it. They're like, yeah, get fucked up. Enjoy yourself. Yeah. You're supposed to feel like a Greek Jump god off here. the boat. <laughs> not, not that far. <laughs> but hey, but you see one of these workers? You can kill that guy if you want. That's true. You won't tell He's nobody. undocumented. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll tell you this. A lot of... Uh, Best ones to kill. Do- <laughs> undocumented people, they don't have documents. They don't have documents, so yeah. they will come up missing. Hmm. They won't. Yeah. Who's fuck's yeah. going to know? You know what's crazy? <laughs> We've talked yeah, about killing would- dogs and killing <laughs> undocumented <laughs> people now. This, which one's worse? The people. I'm just kidding. No, no, no. That was a good white question. Yeah. Sounds huh. about white. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is why I love doing this show with you. Dude, we're the, You're we're insane. the we're, we bridge the gap, bro. We do bridge the gap, and the people gonna, need us. And the, the people are gonna exile us for sure. <laughs> we're gonna have no friends <laughs> at all, at all, from any race. It's, it's just gonna be except us. for wherever Dom's from. Yeah, <laughs> Dom's from a mythical land. <laughs> you look like you could like they're like yo, let's just make up a place, and they're like he looks like he's from there. Yeah, he looks like a black guy in like a '90s movie, but we like, started putting black people and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, he's, they had to ease us in. Enough. I say shit like dope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. oh for sure, for oh, sure. Oh shit, Mr. G. Right. <laughs> you also, I think, if you maybe brought the beard down a little bit, you could kill it in Hamilton. Hamilton? Hamilton. Yeah. 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 I'd rather fucking stab my eyeballs out than participate in any of that shit. Yeah, you don't like keep that same energy? Fuck but do it on the stage, dude. <laughs> you're, you're right for it. <laughs> Alex and the Hamilton. Uh, <laughs> I'd rather die. God. For my people. You look like you look like <laughs> Lin Man Swell. <laughs> oh, What'd you say? I say you look like Lin Man Swell. It was terrible. I hate it. I no, wish I brought it I wish you wouldn't have brought it up my bad. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. Why would you why would you do that in front of our audience? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's cool. It's cool. Uh, I found out this. Uh, so the Olympics are, were going on this mm-hmm. past couple of weeks. I heard. And I accidentally reverted into a racist grandfather. So I was watching the gold medal game um, yeah. between uh, Paris. Men's, uh, it was women's basketball. Uh, we were watching the gold medal game. And it was a tight game. Super good game. Uh, we won by like one point. But at one point, this uh, this French player was doing something. She was cooking us, and it did. It didn't come from a mean place. I just didn't know what to yell because I don't know much about France. So I was like, "Yo, why don't you get a fucking normal name?" <laughs> I, just, I was like, "Get a normal last name," because <laughs> it was like Garcion. Like they they be having yeah, like yeah. different C's and shit. And it wasn't until I left my <laughs> mouth where I was like, "Yo, people are gonna think I'm voting for Trump next year oh, or this yeah. year. Was it this year?" Yeah. Yeah, damn. No, that's when you're supposed to be racist, fucked up towards people. Yeah, yeah. No, the yeah. Olympics, dude. Yeah. It's supposed to bring us together. Get nah. the fuck out of here, yeah, USA. We're number one. It well, bring- that's only because we're in the U.S. No, well, the no, other I'm countries saying, are pissed. When I say bring us together, I mean the world. Mm-hmm. It brings America together for sure. And I think the, the, world, the world, I think the world is together on the opening ceremony. Once the opening ceremony is over, we're all like, "Yo, go fuck yourself." Yeah, we're winning. Well, opening ceremony was fucking insane this year. It was just the boats, yeah. No, no, it was dude, like the whole gay like, thing. Oh yeah, you right. It was, it was the about. French. So. It was uh, yeah, yeah. that was the French one because we had mm-hmm. Lady Gaga, which is hilarious. But the French, or no, it was Iceland. It was some country. We didn't France, get that one. In Paris, right? Yeah, yeah, it was in Paris, but no, it was the French. Who so did. whoever was the has French one, the blue whoever, guy, whoever hosts it gets the uh, opening ceremony. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying like during the opening ceremonies, we had like a little thing from Lady Gaga. I don't think that one. I out think to every everybody. country gets a little something that yeah, all like the main segment, cool countries uh, okay. like us because it wouldn't make any sense for Mongolia to be like, oh look, Lady Gaga. Like you know what I'm saying when they probably yeah, got somebody they want to see somebody shoot make... a longbow. Right. <laughs> the Philippines yeah. probably had Manny Pacquiao out there <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> singing and doing Shadow jabs. Boxes. They love that motherfucker. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro! I had a friend who went to uh, the Philippines during uh, like a mission trip or some shit, and he mm-hmm. said when he got into the airport, 
he just seen this huge it was like almost some Game of Thrones shit where they draped it over the balcony and it was just Manny Pacquiao <laughs> just in the airport staring at you. For real? Hell, hell yeah. In the airport? In the airport. They fucking yeah, love he's Manny important, bro. Hell yeah. Manny Pacquiao. But that's what I'm saying. I don't think the other countries fuck with us. No, nah, not because like that. Because of that same thing. You think North Korea is showing that shit? And they were at the Olympics? Hell no. They were at the Olympics? Yeah. What were they doing? Performing a little. <laughs> yeah. Not letting us know too much of their game plan. Yeah, they, we didn't, nobody got to see any of it. Yeah. <laughs> Looking fast the longest. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> you can paint pictures of Kim Jong-un. Yeah. yeah right. <laughs> Every time you get a gold, they're like, you know, Kim Jong-un has more golds than you. Yeah. He's actually, Have you ever heard any of the facts that they tell their people about him? I heard, like, golf. Uh, he invented golf or something? <laughs> I didn't hear that. That's crazy. I'm about to say, Dom, can you pull up interesting uh, facts that Kim Jong-un tells his people? Because I think I... Don't, don't, don't fucking hold this against me if I'm wrong, but I'm 99% sure Kim Jong-un has all of North Korea believing he doesn't take shits. Yep. Oh, really? Yeah, like he told them... That's crazy that he poop. would care about that. And like he's half a god or some shit like that. It's like really... It's really interesting, fam. It's all kinds of... It's all kinds of shit that you would think a, somebody who we would think has common sense will go, what? Right. No. But I think when you're just born into it and you're wrapped up around it, yeah. you're just like, well, I guess this guy's great. Yeah. We're yeah, not I mean, allowed to see the outside world, so I that's guess true. he's amazing. That's true. I, oh, he does not, does not pee, pee or, or poop. poop. See? He, he does not defecate. He throws up every day. <laughs> 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 well. How big do you think he tells people his penis is? Because if you're willing to tell people you don't pee and poop, you you're like, bro, damn, my ankles just keep rubbing the side of my. <laughs> I have a 15 tip. inch dick, right, and it's always hard. Yeah, <laughs> I'm Kim Jong Un, and I can't sleep on my belly. My nuke, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that I got. Weapon of ass destruction. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We back. I'm getting informed. Right back. Uh -oh. Shaking the rust off. That means he loosened up. Mm -mm. Oh shit! That was really. He created the hammer. He created the fucking a hammer. German word. <laughs> <laughs> Literally a German word. They're like, how come every time you say it, you sound you're not speaking North Korean? Yeah. He's like, shut up! I made it up. Damn, bro. Nobody's living in body functions. Magical yeah. beginnings. What's number four? Let's hear that. All right. I can't read. According to his official <laughs> biography, Kim Jong Un the second birth atop uh, a sacred mountain, so a new star created and winter turned into spring. However, records kept by the country Soviet Soviet allies show that he was born in a, a Siberian village. Wow! So he's not even from North Korea. He just came over and fucking. That's his daddy, though. Yeah, his dad. Oh, that was his daddy, mm -hmm. Kim Jong Il. Yeah. Okay. What about time thieves? Time thieves has yeah, to be I the wanna, most I want to see what time what a time thief is. All right. Time time thieves. For decades, North Koreans believed that Japanese stole time from them back during the 1919 occupation. Kim Jong Un uh, finally righted his injustice and set North Korea's clocks back by a half an hour on August 15th, 2015. Then Wait, they, they stole, only, they th stole 30 minutes? Yeah. Yeah. I, was like, yeah. I was like, damn, how much time did those bastards take? Yeah. 30 minutes. It's Japanese. <laughs> ah, give me my 30 minutes back. How do you even come to that? It's like, <laughs> you just think one day, he's like, I thought it was 6.30 instead of 6. Yeah, just right. For the rest of your life. That's crazy. <laughs> That's nuts, man. You know what, though? This kind of makes me think. I've been having this idea. Hear me out. You know what seems like a really fun existence sometimes? What? A cult leader. Yeah. Like that's, some, that's that guy. Yeah. But this is what I'm saying. I think it'll be fun up to a certain extent. Like, when at some point, you're just not going to be able to solve everybody's problems. And they're just going to get on your nerves. <laughs> <laughs> like, like him, I think he just kills people. But I'm talking like a good cult leader. Like, somebody who's they like, They only Fuck. got 35 people, so yeah. we got to keep, like, these, I'm still keep these motherfuckers. Now, I'm just now getting people introduced. Like, you want to really reach enlightenment? Come put your head under this table. <laughs> I'm going to give you something. Ooh. <laughs> and when it goes into your mouth, you're going to feel enlightenment come down your throat. Oh my god! Form. Yeah, see, <laughs> they do that. That's what they do. That's that's what they literally every. I felt so uncomfortable when you said that. Yeah, because you don't believe in the message yet. You're not a true believer. I haven't seen the light. Yeah, once I show you the message and how you can become, you know, your own being and become a god and become good with Snoozenorf, the god of all gods, then you're like, yo, enlighten me, and then I come down your throat, and then, <laughs> and then, and then I semen, and yeah, then, and then the cult is really up and going. 
And then we said, now we got an operation, boys. But <laughs> I imagine, like, <laughs> while you're doing that shit, you know, people are coming up to you like, bro, uh, you know, life is just really getting me down. I got herpes. What do I do? I'm like, ah, fuck. I don't know. You can't what have do you me. Do? Like, like man, shit. Yeah. You got to get out the coat right now until I figure this out. Oh, if you get the coat litter and STD, bro. Oh, you know he's you'd making be, everybody. You'd be fucking making so much Give shoes it. or whatever they do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't no. know. Colt leaders, like American Colts, from what I can tell, they don't make shoes and shit. But they do. Uh, <laughs> they do. They do. Like have really interesting little jobs where they make like meals for kids and shit. Damn, this they, guy looks like try to find this guy looks like Jumanji. Now nah, you know who this dude looks like? Fucking Bill Walton. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, he looks like a young Bill R. Walton. R. All right, click on this Hobbit of a man. What is this, Dom? Is this one of yours? Yeah, well, you guys were talking about cults. I didn't know if you ever seen this cult video. It was like an no, am- animorph. You ever see that show? Animorphs? Yeah, with a, animorphs. With a, with a yeah. high school kid. He looks like he's mid stage and an animorph. He's turning into a chimp. <laughs> he's turned into a bonobo chimp. I'm here. Oh, look, I I heard everything. <laughs> then Jeff delivered an incredible revelation about his dad, the Messiah. God came down on Michael and forced him to consummate with Christiana. Oh. I mean, it was a terrible, strange act of God. He did a, an astonishing thing. What the fuck? That uh, I was astonished, and so was Michael. <laughs> Michael had made no <laughs> mistake with his son's wife. Whoa. I got the feeling this was a story I wasn't supposed to hear. No. Say it again. And when Michael and found out, I knew. It? So Michael is the chimp man yeah. who's leading the cult. That's his son, and that's Christine, the son's wife. Michael was told his son, God made him fuck Christine. And he's like, he didn't want to do it, but he had to. God made him. Dude, how can he be that caught up in some shit, bro? Dude, it only gets better. Oh, please, keep it it going. Can I also say, (laughs) and I feel like we've been ragging on your people a lot. Yeah, what These the are all the most unattractive white people I've ever seen. That's true. They're all piggly, wiggly, bland whites. Yeah. Like, even Trailer Trash looks at them and goes, ugh, what's wrong with you? He's like, well, I'm a god. And yeah, yeah, I'm a god. I'm going to have sex with your wife now. <laughs> Who's going to stop me? Well, the Here Lord we wants me to be the shit out of you <laughs> with this pipe. Mm-hmm. You feel the Lord's <laughs> blessings coming upon you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see. Well, I want to hear this sick shit. Let's go. Far Cry 5 in real life? (laughs) He asked me for an opportunity to explain just how God had made it happen. Um, I stood up like this. Mm, Give me a demonstration. Hell yeah. And, um... Oh, he does look just like his dad. And suddenly, I was forced down on the floor, and I had to get down... I was down just about like this. Mm -hmm. And I was in pain. Mm Mm-hmm. The pain was in and nuts. all I could do was groan. <laughs> all I could do was kind of no. rock. Mm-hmm. And I, yeah. I started seeing that the consummation with Christiana was imminent. And I was going to be, um, I was going to have to do that. I was just laying awake and I was thinking about um, coming mm-hmm. over here. Mm-hmm. And I said to Father, I said, don't call him father. When I go over there, if Michael invites me in, I will ask for the consummation tonight. Oh! <laughs> no, oh, dude. dude, you get cucked by your dad. This dude, bro. Literal physical consummation. No, it wasn't. But you, you consummated more than once. Yes. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> and so I love these yeah. fucking yeah. documentaries. You consummate more than once. Oh! Look, look, he's an evil bastard. He's a sick guy. But you know what? I tell you this, that motherfucker don't care. In the realm of people not caring, he ain't giving a shit. He's living his life. They said, you fucked more than once? Yeah. 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 His son's just over there. His, his head's in the he's wall. Like, hey, I'm about to say, you see where his head is? <laughs> the most I had defeated. her pinned up right there. Just <laughs> spreading yeah, that son, shit. Yeah, move over a little bit. I want to show where I was fucking your yeah. wife. Yeah, you know, he was telling too, like, man, God really made me just start drilling last night. <laughs> that, the Lord made me put it in her ass. I, I was, don't know. I was standing up in it at one the point. The Lord's kind of a freak, <laughs> turns out. <laughs> Lord told me to put my feet on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord called it a pile driver. Uh, I don't know what to call it. Right. Ain't anything. I, I knew it had 
had to be the Lord because my brain had never thought of anything just so, <laughs> just so unhuman like. At one point, I was literally just sliding my penis between her cheeks. <laughs> I was doing goofy shit. I was like, you feel that? Between the valley of the shadow of death? <laughs> Dude, that's the crazy shit. That is insane. Oh, my gosh. Okay, see, I couldn't be that kind of cult leader. I would feel so bad. I would feel bad. No, you wouldn't, bro. I, would feel, I, could, I don't think I could fuck somebody's wife, especially not my son's. My son's wife is too... My son's wife is too close. You ain't never fucked a wife before? No. Me neither. I, you lying sack of shit. <laughs> he said me neither. I feel like he down. only fucks wives. He, you only go out. <laughs> that's his own thing. He's, he's like, <laughs> he's you got saying me neither. There's four yeah. husbands looking for Dom right now. <laughs> yeah, dude, he's and a, he's the only watch, problem is like, I'm looking for this wife fucker. What does he look like? <laughs> he's Indian. Damn, mine's Damn. Dominican. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's a great point. <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> he's, he's constantly changing. Yeah, you, if you just draw him out like America's Most Wanted, <laughs> he's like, he could be anything. I don't know who this fucking guy is. You remember Batman, the animated series? You're like Clayface, but with races. <laughs> Whichever however you swoop your hair, they're like, ah, shit. Oh, I thought on. that was him. God dang it. It's just some half black man now. <laughs> it's some Saudi. <laughs> the Saudi boy. The Saudi boys. Oh, man. Yeah, bro. I love it, though. Dom's cool. I like Dom. Oh, Dom's the best. Dom's the best. He gives us a hard time sometimes. He has But to. we need it. He yeah, has And to. we need it. You know, I'm one of those I, people. I, th- I think if I was ever a sex worker, <laughs> I would what? I would be one of those that gets hit by the pimp all the time because I know I get out of line. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I get but you're just down. You're just down. But I'm down. Bitch, but I'm so yeah, down. Yeah. I'm so down. And like, that's what Dom is. Dom would be like, "Hey, Sci-Fi, you fucking up," and I'm like, "I know. It's me. It's I, my personality. I know, Daddy. Yeah. I know, Daddy. Father. Father. Yeah. Yeah. Papa. <laughs> yes, Father. <laughs> Sci-Fi, you've been fucking up. Your girlfriend's looking pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You want to remain enlightened? You're right. You want to l- l- remain at Clown College Studios? <laughs> In our sanctuary? You're right. With open beer cans? Anka, Anka. <laughs> Daddy Dom's going to have to get in the there. The clown cult? Where the you clown your cult. Wife? Oh, that's what we need, the clown Nightmare. cult. That's oh. what we need. I just want to see a, a fucking... Well, they're called ICP. Ah, uh, damn. No. They, got, they kind of take those, those are meth clowns. Those are meth clowns. <laughs> They'd be really hard to distinguish ourselves. No, well, our clowns are going to be good, wholesome folk. That's them right there that we're talking to. The These good, wholesome guys? folk in America and some places all over the world. Oh, I don't okay. know where this might get picked up at. It's on YouTube. They can see whatever they want, unless they live in North, North Korea. Korea. They're nice. fucked. Tied it all back. But these are good clown people. Those ICP <laughs> juggalos, those are Fago drinking, meth smoking. We do yeah. not want this smoke, bro. Yeah, I fucked my cousin This is once. all sci-fi's words. I don't agree with any of that, dude. These are you guys scared are, of these guys Juggalos? Are yeah. Why are you fucking scared of Juggalos? Just, juggalos this, do go hard. Hold on. This they is, got his face tattoos. I know, but this is going to sound real crazy. One, you can always tell a Juggalo a mile away. Yeah. Yeah. So They're into it. Then call the cops. They, I guarantee you they got something on them. For profiling? I'm profiling the fuck out of a Juggalo. <laughs> <laughs> Those are one of the dirtiest whites you can ever come across. I got family in Michigan. I've seen plenty of Juggalo. They're really? fuckheads. Oh, yeah, that's where I see. I've never from. actually seen one. Oh, really? really? I didn't know that. Oh man, I I used to go to school with this one dude that was a juggalo, and he used to have the uh, like the crazy man emblem or whatever. He used to rock yeah. it on the chain. And, that uh, sucks. His teeth, his <laughs> teeth were like. You ever leave butter outside the package in the oh, fridge? Bro. They were like butter yellow. God damn. Harsh. And he smoked cigarettes in sophomore year. Really? Like I'm talking like a pack a day. Damn, sophomore year. He was cool as fuck. No, was no, he was not. He wore Jankos, <laughs> Janko jeans. You know them big, yeah, yeah. Them shits with niggas be uh, the nineties shit. Yeah, uh, I don't know why people love those. Them things look so stupid to me. Um, yeah, I've seen some people wear them and they don't look bad. To be honest, yeah, mostly right. like rappers. Would you yeah. say? Oh no, rappers are something. Danny to do Brown this shit. or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I've seen rappers rapper. wear them. They actually look pretty uh, cool. Nah, I just hate them, bro. I don't and like them. Uh, you know what? They could be cool. I just don't. They are just not me. I think I'm getting that today. Yeah, age. I would never wear them, but there's all kinds of cool guy shit I'm, I can't wear. Like what? Robes. You can wear a robe, bro. I'm, no, I'm gonna get you a robe. Your shoes, your current shoes. My Christmas Crocs that I got. Everybody from compliments. I was like, yeah, these suck, bro. You can come get them for eight bucks over where I work. <laughs> that he's literally. warm and he gets a compliment everywhere we go. Every time I've worn I was like, these if I Crocs. was wearing these motherfuckers, I'd be getting shit on. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. 
Look at this white guy. He thinks they're cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Goofy. <laughs> Nobody ever says, why are you wearing Christmas Crocs in July? They're just like, that makes sense. Damn, dude, that's just fire, <laughs> bro. Hell yeah. Where you get those? Damn. I love them. I fucking love it. Yeah, yeah. ready for some clips? Let's, Hell let's yeah. watch some clips, man. Let's, let's go over to Mom's section. Clips. No, this is, oh, this is, uh, clips. one clips. of you guys clips. sent this in. Clips. Oh, how clips. exciting. Clips, clips, clips. Ooh, hell yeah. Okay, hold on. I am already turned on. I'm already fucking turned on. Is her What's head that alien shaped? He had to mute it. Mm-hmm. And then he's got to start again. My secret talent is queefing. And it's like, bruh, hmm? you stole your talent from me. I'm the only one that can do that on command. Sorry. <laughs> Is that her actually queefing? Yeah, bro. I hope so. Can we send that to Dante? Fans money back. Can I send that to Dante? (laughs) For anybody who doesn't know, Dante is this comedian uh, here in Huntsville, and he really loves queefs. He has. (laughs) Shout out Dante. Shout out Dante. He probably has ten minutes of queef material. Oh, for sure, bro. He's a queef master. Him and this girl should link up, bro. That's what I'm saying. Can you imagine Dante meeting this woman? He would. He would instantly settle down. They would just Mm -hmm. never stop talking. They would have queef children. (laughs) <laughs> did you, did you, it was a kind of a poor quality video. I need to get work on sending in videos. I liked it. Did you it, see it was her ghetto earring? Shit. Yeah, it was like cigarette butts. She has, no, it's like actual cigarettes. Oh, were they actual cigarettes? Yeah, she is white trash fucking oh, Barbie, yeah. bro. Hell yeah. I love trailer park type shit. Mm-hmm. You know who I used to think was hot? I think, and she kind of gives off that vibe. Do you remember, um, not Vicky Valancourt, but she had that kind of vibe. Do you ever? Did you ever see, uh, what's that witch movie? The uh, it was a bunch of witches. Oh yeah, the craft. But, uh, oh, you talking about the craft? The craft. Oh hell yeah. Do you remember the skinny uh, white chick with the dark hair, the main witch? She was real big in the nineties. She gives me that same kind of a uh, vibe. Shannon Doherty? No, nah, not Shannon Doherty. <laughs> Shannon Doherty was like a. Uh, she kind of came off as more clean cut. Uh, th- what that first one? What's that first lady's what name? The fuck is this? That's the craft. Okay, that's the one. Nah, nah, I don't want Shannon Doherty. I want, oh. I want the one with daddy issues. Yeah, that one. Hit that left. one to the left. Yeah, I want that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Put a cigarette out on my nipple. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I love that kind of shit. Bro, that's the craziest smile I've ever seen. I know. Does it not make your bird twitch? Nah. Yes. You crazy. That yeah, one, yeah, come yeah, on. For sure, yeah. I, alt girl, I just started getting into alt women. Oh, so, really? Yeah, I just started. Everybody goes through that period, I feel like. Yeah. Because they've made a decision. They have chosen that they're going to be this kind of girl. Yeah. And it's and they're uh, leaning so into it. And they yeah, don't it's give a, a whole fuck personality. Which, it's a whole thing. You know what I think? I think I'm attracted to women who don't give a fuck what I think. Like, if I'm just like, oh, that's interesting. They're like, yeah. Attracted to what like extent, it. though? Marriage or just a fuck? Okay. Could you marry a bitch who's constantly contradicting everything you say? Well, not contradicting. I don't want somebody. I feel like that's well, not, too, that's probably not the right word. Yeah, I just like if you if you did contradict something I was saying, I would not mind her being like, "Hey, nah, I don't agree with that." Yeah, I but if you got, I think it's this confidence to you. If you got that confidence to, where I'm like, if I'm like, "Hey, I don't like your hair that long" or some shit, she's like, yeah, "I don't yeah. give a fuck." Oh, dude, I'm the opposite. I want a girl in full control. Of you or herself? Me controlling her. Oh, okay. You oh, want yeah. Handmaid's Tale. Cult shit. Hell yeah. I'm about to get into it. Yeah, go ahead, Don Draper. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. You want how how much does she have to weigh? Yeah, about one twenty. <laughs> if I feed her. <laughs> if she eats this Yeah, week. if I let her eat. <laughs> Just kidding, everybody. <laughs> He's not kidding. He's not. She's she's in a cage in his room right now. <laughs> she's oh, being good. I said this one. Oh, what the fuck is that? Bro? Um, this is one of the original whites <laughs> doing the original white things. That's disgusting. Hey, this is oh. <laughs> Motherfucker, don't you tell nobody. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Oh, bro. <laughs> Bone appetite. No. Oh, wait. No, it gets good. It gets good. Wait, wait. Pat, to oh. put them dentures back in, baby. Fucker. You're eating garbage, bitch. I'm putting them out. Yeah, you took a bite. <laughs> a dilapidated house they're squatting in. That's hilarious. Oh, <laughs> That's not yeah, there you go. There, bro. The bon appetit. I love shit like that. I love people. Uh, what just do you think they me. gave her for that, or do you think she's just a down ass bitch? Bro, they gave her a can of Mountain Dew and a fucking Virginia Slim. That's all she needed. Damn, bro. That was <laughs> harsh. How much money? Never zero. To eat that? You, oh wait, I mean, to I'm, take a bite. Oh, not wait. zero. Hold on. 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 <laughs> 
When I said how much money, did you think I meant to fuck or to eat? I meant to eat the thing. Okay. How to much have money? sex with that lady? Yeah. Raw. Oh, bro. Raw. <laughs> I give her like 50 bucks. No, how much money do I have to pay you? <laughs> <laughs> She's pretty. Yeah, I get it. She's not too bad. That is so funny. How much money to pay? I'm thinking how much money I got to pay you. He said, I give her 50 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> I could do it. Well, how much does she want? hundred? No, nigga. What the fuck? How much do I have to pay you oh, bro. to fuck her? <laughs> it's a ton, ah. bro. I mean, that is not the first disgusting thing she's put in her mouth that day. That's true. I, I love you, man. I love you. I've never heard that. I hear about 50 I've bucks. I've never heard that kind of answer before. You know this lady? How much I got to pay you? Right. <laughs> how much I got to pay you? <laughs> Okay. He's like, give her 50 bucks. This next video, sci fi sent in, but we both had this for on our uh, list. This yeah. better be good, guys. It's okay. wild. Caught my high school bully lacking. Have you ever been bullied, Bryce? Uh, to some extent. To some extent. If you saw your high school bully, let's look at let's look at the freeze frame here. It looks like he's working at a Wendy's. So you see your high school bully. What do you think you're going to do when you see him? If you had the one up and saw him now. If I'm like being cocky in my head or yeah. what's actually going to happen? Yeah. Because yeah. what's actually going to happen no repercussion. is nothing. Yeah, <laughs> nothing yeah, right. is actually going to happen. <laughs> you were in my mind, for a I'm about to slap whatever he's holding out of his hand and shove it up his ass. Okay, okay. But that's never going to happen. Slap something out of his hand and I'll shove it up his ass. Oh, hey, man, what's up? How, how's it been? It's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> you got kids? Oh, that's crazy. Anyways, yeah, I work at Academy. High, See you high later. School, high school, <laughs> great times. Dude, we were such good boys. Yeah. All right, let's see how this guy takes it. Hey, bro, you Anthony Maria? You remember when we from high school, bro? Mm-hmm. Remember when you when you when you bullied me? <laughs> you remember you bullied me, bro? <laughs> Go ahead, bro. You don't remember you bullying me? <laughs> so he didn't slap it out his hand. He grabbed his shit. Well, I think he was about to finger his ass. What? <laughs> Look, to go you behind. Me, I think he about to penetrate his ass. Yeah. <laughs> who who says you remember me and does this? He went up in there with like Spider Man shit, like a finger ass a little bit. Damn, I wish this guy would flip the camera around. He must be big as fuck. He's gotta you know? be. Because this dude's not even kind of challenging him. You know how this dude is moving? This dude is moving. You ever see those videos where they're like, hey, so you're here to meet up with a 13 year old girl? Oh, he doesn't yeah, even say, bro. he don't even like, hey, yo, dog, chill. He just starts moving. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's on that there, kind bro. of time. They know what you about, man. I've never been to high school. Right, What's right. that? Never yeah. bullied anybody. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see what fingers you use to hey, get in your ass. You remember when we from high school, bro? Remember when you were when you bullied? Damn, dude. <laughs> so he said, he went like that. He he's, tickled some tank. He sped up to like I, when I slapped my dog's butt. When he's running. <laughs> yeah. He's going, he's going, he's going, he's no. He sped his ass up. Be easy. <laughs> Dude, that's a perfect video. Uh, <laughs> this video right here. Um, how much do you know about football? You know who that is? No, I don't. That is Jameis Winston. Okay. Or, I'm sorry, J- Jameis Winston. Yeah, it's Jameis, dude. I don't, I don't know why. Now, I who doesn't know about Jameis. football? Jameis Winston, of course, went to FSU, mm-hmm. famous for winning them a uh, uh, national championship. Also, stealing crab legs from yeah. their local Publix. I, I actually, <laughs> I went to the Publix. He stole crab legs. Damn, because it was an easy target. <laughs> <laughs> I got some too. They're not paying attention. No, what's so funny? I was with a, a white girl. Yeah, and uh, we, her family, uh, lived in Tallahassee at the time, and we went down there, and she was showing me around. I was like, "This is beautiful." And then we went to this Publix. She was like. That's where uh, that's where he did it. Uh, are you, <laughs> are you feeling there. any like uh, <laughs> any any ill will right now? Uh, no, no. I thought it was I thought it was really interesting for her to show me that just a moment like that in yeah, the history. She's like pointing like, "Hey, you, you feeling an urge?" <laughs> <laughs> I, I think she was really like, "This is like where Martin Luther King got shot for you guys, huh?" <laughs> <laughs> this place should be immortalized. An important day, <laughs> yeah. time. But uh, so Jameis Winston is uh, he he speaks like he's currently fighting CTE. Oh yeah. And this is him in a normal interview. <laughs> I think that's one of the things that a lot of people forget when you can go out, you can see practice, you can knickknack, this, that, patty whack, give a dog a bone. <laughs> Deshaun Watson is going to turn it on. He always going to find a way to shine when the lights come on. 
Man, I just ran. Can, can, can I leave off that? But I know that's what we're going to hit. <laughs> <laughs> what? Dude. You see how he looking all around? He looking to see whatever CTE keep talking to him. Yeah, who like, the fuck said that? <laughs> if you look, you trying to make me freestyle. He dropping bar. <laughs> That's like every guy I get caught up talking to at a bar. Oh yeah, it's just like he's like trying to educate me on some shit. Like, I bro. fucking hate bar That's the conversation, worst. man. I fucking hate bar conversation. I especially when you're at open mics. That's that's when you really get it. You know, people have always told me I should be a comedian. People say I'm hilarious. It's like, what do you want me to do with this information? How about this? How many times have you heard this one? I got so much stuff written down, it just ain't ready yet. It just ain't ready. I just haven't written it down, man. But it's got so it's, much good oh shit up my here. God, it, it's so funny. Let me tell you one. I'm like, why don't you just sign your name? Yeah, why don't you just call us up there so I don't have to forcibly laugh? There was a dude at the station. Back when it was the station, mm -hmm. who would come every single Sunday for maybe like seven or eight months, and every time I would get off stage, I would go to the bar to get some like something to drink or whatever, and he'd be like, "Oh, great set!" And I'm like, "Oh, thanks." And he'd be like, "Yeah," I'm like, "How's your set coming along?" He'd be like, "It ain't ready yet. It ain't ready yet for seven months." Damn. Like, I was, and one day I was like, "It ain't never gonna be ready." You said that like, to him? Yeah, because it's the truth. <laughs> what a no, shit <laughs> no, 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 it's the truth. It's never gonna be ready. Hey, just go quit and do now. it. You just gotta go and do it. Yeah, that's what, that's all I'm saying. Oh, you're saying you'll never be prepared. Yeah, you'll never be prepared. Oh, I got you. I just told him to give up. Nah, nah, I never give up. How much time we got? That's nah. the real uh, advice. We're done. Okay, good. That's it. Is the real advice? No, because that's exactly how I want to close it. Never give up. Everybody who's at home, if you got some shit you want to do, go fucking do it. Don't. I call it paralysis by over analysis. You overthinking some shit, and guess Damn, what? Damn, he can't you help but rhyme. Uh huh, <laughs> motherfucking sci-fi bitch. The bars keep coming. But nah, if you got some shit, go fucking do it. Be like Nike. Just fucking do it. Don't don't say, ooh, in, in six months, I'm going to start. Nah, if you really got to start some shit, why don't you start tomorrow? Why don't you start tonight? Just start tonight. Do something that's going to get you closer to that tonight. Well, you want to lose some weight? Don't go get a fucking Coke right now. Don't, this is my last Coke. Nah, your last Coke was your last Coke. That's actually the opposite of what I was saying. Oh, what I was you like, saying? you should tell that guy to quit because <laughs> comedy is a time dump. As a matter of fact, hey, if you're out there and you're thinking about doing some shit, Shut it down. <laughs> if you're thinking about doing stand up and you're not already mentally ill, quit, quit for now, you, fam. dude. <laughs> you're gonna be here forever. You're gonna hate yourself. All right, guys. Thanks for show. Thanks so much. This for was fun. Wow. You heard us talk about killing animals, uh, giving up, and pursuing your dreams at the same time. <laughs> uh, some rap, some and rap, and some ass play, and some queefs, queefs and ass play. So we did it. This is the, the Bryce and our boxes, show, and we're out. Dun 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 Peace. dun 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 Get enough off, Elroy.